Hi, everybody. This is Matt. We're continuing our series on the diagnostic test for the heart. And today we're talking about the 12 lead electrocardiogram or EKG. And I'd like to thank again uh, Professor Sesto from the University of Mannheim in Germany for his wonderful work on Arrhythmia Compendium 2 or the Arrhythmia Compendium number two, and I'm going to go directly to this uh, wonderful uh, diagram, <clears throat> which is noted here, and what we're going to see on the Oberfläche EKG is the surface EKG, which is uh, essentially what we will refer to for this presentation. So I'll get up nice and close, and what we're going to see, if you look at the top line, are a series of uh, electrical uh, waves. And if you follow downwards along the heart, these uh, lines will depict exactly what part of the heart is being indicated on the EKG at what times. So if you follow the first wavelet, that's the P wave, down, and that is the depolarization of the SA node. Continuing on, you have the QRS, which is the depolarization of the ventricle, and the T wave, which is the repolarization of the ventricle. So a 12-lead EKG is one of the most fundamental diagnostic uh, tests that cardiologists do to determine uh, the electrical status of your heart. What a 12-lead EKG does is it looks at the heart in different views, essentially. These are called vectors. There are electrodes hooked up to your chest and also to your limbs, and what the 12 leads do is in a series of combination of one lead looking at the heart from a negative pole to a positive pole, that is another uh, electrode, it gives the cardiologist an electrical picture of that part of the heart. In uh, treating someone who potentially is having a heart attack, it permits the cardiologist to see which parts of the heart are being affected by electrical uh, abnormalities. It also helps uh, simply to determine whether or not the heart rhythm is normal or not. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there are a lot of sophisticated details as to what parts of that signal in what ways are altered and what that means. And that's why people go to medical school and uh, study in specialty uh, clinics to learn more about those changes and what they uh, indicate and the best ways to treat them. So that's the 12 lead EKG. It's a very, very basic uh, but sophisticated um, diagnostic tool for the um, cardiologist to make use of. And many times it can be the basis for a need to do further testing. And that's it. Have a great day.